And we have this breaking news, a big moment for Boeing and the 737 MAX. The head of the FAA climbed on board and took controls of one of the planes this morning for a pretty crucial test flight that will help determine whether that MAX, which has been grounded uh, for a year and a half since two catastrophic crashes that killed 346 people, will be able to fly again soon. Obviously not just the specific jet. I mean, all these MAXs might come as soon as November. The FAA administrator is named Steve Dixon. He inspected the MAX jet on the tarmac at Boeing Field right here in our area. Before he went into the cockpit, he had promised to personally fly the jet before allowing it to resume commercial flights. So this flight lasted about two hours from Seattle to Moses Lake and back again. He touched down just a short time ago and then said this is just part of a global effort. If we're taking a systemic approach, remember we have an aviation system. We don't want to look, we don't want to get tunnel vision on one aspect of design. We need to think about human factors. We need to think about the entire global fleet. We need to think about uh, all the different operators that are out there and make sure that we've got the absolute safest um, aircraft training and everything else uh, out there that can promote aviation safety. Meantime, Congress is moving forward with new laws on how planes are certified as safe. The proposed legislation will create an expert review panel to evaluate Boeing's safety culture. It will also revise the FAA's process for recertifying older jet designs, and it will extend whistleblower protections to employees. 